Kleeman Mobirex MR110 is the smallest impact crusher in the Kleeman range. It can process up to 350 tonnes of material per hour. With the optional screening unit it has a weight of 54 tonnes. This model by Conrad comes in a good quality Kleeman branded box and it's good to see that it's got information about the real machine on the sides of the box. Another nice inclusion is a high quality instruction sheet, it's all printed in colour and it's got good quality photos of how to assemble the couple of parts that make up the model. The attachment of the parts is described but not all of the features. Lifting the lid on the polystyrene tray and we can see inside and there's really just three parts to the model, there's the crusher unit itself which is a big heavy part, there's a smaller optional side conveyor and a big optional screening unit. Diving straight into the detail, looking underneath, it's pretty good. The tracks are plastic, but they look good. They are mounted on metal track frames, but the rollers are representative rather than moving parts. At the input end of the machine, the hopper has metal sides, although they don't fold for transport. But there's some good detail in terms of the plastic screen, or grizzly, and there's nice rubber flaps to prevent fly-out from the crusher area. The structural detailing looks authentic and convincing, with the springs on the suspension mounts. And in the work platform area, safety equipment is in red, there's good metal handrails and textured anti-slip surfacing on the floors. The body sides are metal, with some nice detailing in the casting, and the graphics are really sharp. At the discharge end, there's a magnetic conveyor modelled in plastic, and it can be used on the real machine to separate ferrous materials, perhaps on a demolition site. The optional screening unit has a metal box with a plastic screen clipped onto a secondary conveyor. All of the main conveyor units have rubber belts mounted on metal structures and there's good detailing such as drive motors. We'll look at the model first in transport configuration and there's too much friction in the tracks for them to roll on a smooth surface but they can be rolled by hand. But the good news is if you try them on rough terrain the tracks bite and they roll pretty well. One very good feature of a model like this is that it makes a great load for a low loader. So for that purpose here we have Conrad's model of a Feynmanville trailer and if we position the crusher carefully on the deck then you get a really impressive looking display and it's almost worth having the model just for that purpose. Before we assemble the parts into a site configuration we'll have a look at the optional screening unit. It's got four fold down legs which means it can be posed realistically on a suitable piece of transport. Another feature is that the screening box can be separated from its conveyor. It's held on by plastic clips and when you release those you can take the box off of the conveyor. So if you preferred you could just show the model configured with an extended conveyor. The screening unit attaches by slotting into place at the bottom and there are a couple of bars on either side. One is a T-bar which just hooks over on the top and there's a red safety locking bar which holds it firmly in place. A feature of the main discharge conveyor and the screening conveyor is that they are both rubber and they can be made to turn by using your fingers. Another feature is that the magnetic material conveyor can be adjusted for height above the main discharge conveyor and if you're working in a rock quarry where you don't need the magnetic conveyor it can also be removed from the model. There's also an optional small side conveyor which fits into place below the main entry screen. It takes a little bit of effort to get the conveyor in and position it properly with the strut underneath but once it's in place you can turn the rubber belt. There's another side conveyor with a working belt and that just swings out to any angle that you want. And there are some other smaller features such as this opening cover above the crusher with its rubber flaps. And there are also fold down ladders to provide access onto the work platform. And on one side the whole ladder can also be tilted to provide a safer access. This is a heavy high quality model from Conrad with the metal content probably accounting for the relatively high price. The detailing is good even though there are no hydraulic hoses. And there are plenty of working features to make the model interesting. Overall it's highly recommended.